All right, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to Matt Gone Gaming. So, today, we're going to start up a new game because I got time. Welcome to Dawn of Discovery. I don't know if you've played this game or not, but it is amazing. So, it's kind of like a city builder, uh, but it's kind of set in like the 1400s, like 15th century, something around there. Pretty sweet, a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be kind of a relaxing game. We're going to do what's called like a continuous. Um, like I said, I'm not really going to be many the threats or anything going on peace. here. The main objective is going to be to build just a giant city and being able to like sustain that. It's going to be kind of challenging, but nothing too crazy. If uh, you all like the series, we'll try to make it more challenging. We'll do large islands, a huge map, good fertility. Island difficulty, we'll keep that easy. Raw resources, medium, or mini. Neutral powers, blah, blah. Random map. Refund of construction, quest, medium. Now, natural disasters. Forget the plague, that one's just a huge nuisance. We'll keep those on. Add a little something to the game. We'll start with a ship so we can pick the island we want to settle. 100 honor. We're not going to go up to max gold for now. Starting items are off. Revealed world on. Sabotage off. City council off. Uh, yeah, we don't want a specific way to win. All those would be off. Start the game. So I started playing this series. All, pretty much all the other games are known as Anno. And even this one, I'm, I'm a little confused. I've seen this game referred to as Dawn of Discovery, hence what you're seeing on the screen. I've seen to it referred as Anno 1404. And when I actually picked up a copy way back when, I don't even remember what year this came out, I thought it was called Anno. And when I repurchased it on Steam years later, it was Dawn of Discovery, but you see any of the others like Anno 2070 or Anno 1503 and 17 something. There's a 16 something. There's an Anno 25 something that has like moon colonization. There's a lot of them. This is the only one called Dawn of Discovery. Don't really get that, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I've never really played the campaigns in these games before, so maybe that's something we can go through and do at some point if you all enjoy this. It's always just been kind of a kind of a relaxing game to play. Reminds me of some of the old Sim Cities where I don't know, I would always kind of turn down the difficulty and it's one of those games that's really cool to see a big old city develop that you've been working on. That's really the enjoyment, rather than like a grind or a challenge to it. But hey, to each their own. So I almost loaded up there. It's not the not the fastest game when it comes to loading up or starting a new game, but that's all right. There we go. Set sail. This guy's probably gonna talk. Or not? Okay. So you for, can use this ship to find a new homeland. Is. Super annoying. Okay, we need to figure out where we're gonna settle. I oh, not using the wazdas. Okay, there we go. Arrow keys. It is. So we want a big island to begin with, and this one is probably perfect. Now. Essentially, our first island early on may have, you know, we may gather food and resources, but once we really get going, it is literally just going to be a city, and all of our resource development are going to come from surrounding islands. 
and it'll all be transported to our primary island. It is foolish to cut corners when building a ship. I'm gonna try to get up here and toss a warehouse down on the north side because it's a pretty big coast. This wouldn't be a bad one if we have to take it, but this being the largest island, definitely want to grab it if I can. So here's the volcano. Try to avoid that island if possible. So the way I like to play this, I was kind of touching base on it. The, the first island we start with is, like I said, going to be mostly for our citizens. I'll then pick up a second island that will focus on storing materials. So like any overflow will be stored there and then sold through trade, as well as extracting raw resources in the early to mid game. So especially like timber, charcoal, bricks, iron tools, all those things will be produced on the second island. And then we'll have our sub islands, which will have specific productions, hemp, ciders, spices, pigs, lateral, which get used for leather, all that kind of jazz. So here we go. So we're gonna pull our ship up here to the shore. This should, there we go, warehouse. And we'll toss it. Your building right opportunities there. have been expanded. Cool. So let's get some buildings together. Start gathering some wood. Bam. Bam. Okay. And we're gonna need to start collecting some taxes. So, we'll toss this here. Can I rotate it? I'm trying to remember, can you rotate? Can. I think we want it this way. We want to cover it all with dirt road. With the roads to kind of go out like this. And this doesn't actually have to be connected to the warehouses up here. We also need fish. Um, <laughs> I'm an idiot because I didn't even start that. Boom. Boom. Like that. Okay. And yeah. So you want it this way because you can fit two houses side by side right there. Right, okay, everything has been off floated. Your mouse is acting a little weird. So that Okay. We'll put a couple houses down. For now, I'm going to put another warehouse to help with production. mill that we'll add another an island was net. settled by another player okay so he went down here it's fine this island here you know as long as the resources makes sense probably settle it to be our hub 
Coal, brine. Actually, we won't because there's no iron on it. There's one iron deposit, two. Stone, mutable resources. I don't remember what that means. I really don't remember. <laughs> it's bad. Anyways. Okay. Um, so fish and everything is going up. So let's throw down a couple more um, peasant houses. They seem to be fine. We can go up here to happiness. So happiness will always... Thanks to you, we're doing pretty well here. Grow? Let's see here, hold on. Okay, yeah. So happiness means that, like, when you put a house down, so I'll put this house down, you look down here and it says one out of eight. So this can hold up to eight peasants. One is currently living there. While they're happy, people will move in. All right? And if they move in, then this number goes up. And for each peasant in the house, you get more money for the taxes, essentially. Now, you can stagnate them by putting them at cal uh, calming them. And you can reduce when you go up. Uh, the number of peasants people start to move out when you go to euphoria if all their needs are met and they're eufor euphoric they will actually upgrade to the next tier we don't want them to upgrade to the next tier and we want to make the most money so we put happiness we'll upgrade them later now another thing i do is i don't want them to upgrade whenever they want when it's time to upgrade i'm going to lower them to euphoric and i want to choose who upgrades and wins and, and when they upgrade so I'm gonna do this release rights, turn that off. So now when I go to Euphoric, they can't just upgrade whenever they want. So, bingo. Cool, we're still getting extra food and stuff. So we'll put down some more. And we are doing sections of five by two. So we'll close that off. So that's one uh, chunk or one block if you will. And the town will just kind of grow this way, you know, every which direction. It's centered around the, uh, or focused on the center of the island. <clears throat> Excuse me. Food stuff's still growing up, so let's add some more. This. Like that. New buildings are ready to be built. Okay. So, also, as your population increases, your total pop, your, uh, you unlock new buildings. And when you unlock those new buildings, they have a new request that needs to be fulfilled. As your population goes up and as they become happier and you fulfill more of the request, you'll notice, sorry, the amount of taxes you're making off of them will go up, which we like. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me just make sure food and everything is on the up and up. Cool. Wood is not. Hmm. I'll kind of keep an eye on that. Maybe we'll drop another one down. There's Nothing can stop your settlement from growing. There we go. So this will be an easy one to fulfill, which is just putting in a chapel. Well done. The progress in your town is practically unstoppable. Um, let's go ahead and throw a church in there. Yeah, we'll try to hit everything for now. Oh, insufficient materials. What do I need? Probably more wood. Yeah, more wood. Okay. 
call a cart to come get it. Probably gonna need to add another um, warehouse over here. Food's filling up. Okay, so we should have enough wood now. So we'll come in here. We'll cover all of our current houses. Bam. And there you go. And now, and you can see, we're turning a profit finally down here in the bottom left. They're bringing in way more than they started. But now they want cider. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do temporary cider production on the island, since we really can't colonize anywhere else at the moment. And we'll do it over here. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a small market building. Like so. And we'll come across the front of it. Like that. And we need a little more wood, so we'll wait a second for that. And essentially, we're going to try to be as efficient as possible with the way we start kind of plotting these things, like our farms and such, so we can fit the most on the smallest amount of land, so smallest footprint. That's going to come in handy later on when we really start to grow in size. So, okay, we got enough wood. So here's how it works. Drop it like that. We're gonna manually add our farms. And each one can hold four. So we just do like that. And bam. Here's our first thing of cider. And then, similar to kind of what we're doing with the houses, we wanna just kind of block it in. Now that might be enough for now, honestly. But I think we have the wood, does it six or five? Five, we'll just go ahead and build another one. Let's drop it down, build our farms. Oh crap. There we go, like that. Boom. Two farms, two incredibly small footprints. Okay, everyone's still happy. Food is up. We're losing tools. Um, we need to trade. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Here we go. Buy tools as many as we can get. We don't want to get stalemated by that. Okay. So, cider should be, should be going. It's a matter of time before the first cart, first cart will be picked up. I think we need another warehouse over here. I think we got enough. Um, so we'll build another. Okay. Let's see what our friend down here is doing. He's doing pretty well for himself, it looks like. Okay. Let's 
let's build some more some more folks. I just want to make sure that they're in range of the church. Like that. We like that for now. Cider's almost full, which is good. If we need to build another, we'll build another. But I think we'll be all right. A fair trade. Cool. So we got some more tools. It's good because we're starting to run low. So really, um, early game, the sprint is upgrade some peasants to I don't remember what the second tier is called. Production has been disrupted. Citizens or something like that. Um, someone will come pick up the food soon. Um, it's a sprint to get to upgrade some of your citizens or upgrade some of your peasants to what I think are citizens and then start mining iron and producing tools yourself. That will always be a bottleneck for the growth of your city. Okay, so we're good. We're going to lose some cash here, but that's fine. We're still in a positive. We're dropping down Euphoric, and here in a second we'll be able to specifically elect houses to upgrade. And I'm trying to remember. This is it. Yeah. Grant session. Okay. Citizens Boom. are now also living in your city. Okay. Lock that back up. Move their taxes up. Cool. So you can see we got some new requirements here. One, they want spices. Two, they want garments, linen garments, which require him. And eventually they're going to need amusement. Your settlement's advancement is remarkable. Bravo! Okay. So far, I was once driven by hemp. the same enthusiasm when I built hemp, clothing, bricks, brick roads, cobblestone roads, whatever. We want iron, which requires an ore mine. Take the we you know harvest the raw iron, smelt it into iron ore, and then tools. And we need 240 citizens, and we have 20. So, essentially, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to expand a lot of production for the peasants, which is primarily settling in your town was a good decision. Insider, which isn't bad. Let's see how these levels are going. Cider's going up. Food's going way up. So that's good. So let's get back to building some peasants. I'm trying to remember. I lose two houses for the church. It should be like this, I believe. I like it. that drop three houses in there boom nice and the population will grow I'm gonna just drop in even more houses and that should be oh, okay so that should be good so we'll let's sit there for a second the council okay. of ten thanks you Cool. Got more. So we'll let that build up. Or more people come in, let the population grow. And then we'll look, make sure that we're keeping up with all the necessary resources. And then we'll upgrade some peasants again to citizens. Yeah, okay. So that's what they were called citizens. Now here's the deal with citizens as well. Kind of like with the peasants when the overall population of the city was lower and they were making less money or I guess paying less in taxes as a whole, um, it goes way up. 
same deal with citizens. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's down here. I'm waiting for it to pop up here. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we're up to 30 now. That's cool. So it's 15 per house of citizens. And we'll go ahead and require a few more citizens. We need, what did I say? 240, I believe? 240. Cool. Boom. Boom. All right. Uh, everything's still going up, so that's good. Um, hmm. Got some more wood, so let's build some more housing. One of the other players has reached a higher civilization level. this down here we can put one more there all right up to 52 citizens so we should be at 60 so we got 180 well, we should have 180 left that we need which is what six more I think yeah. <clears throat> so we'll just fill out this chunk here and kind of grow the city this way a little bit. Or you know what? We'll we'll pick six right in here. These guys. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Just try to get that over with. Everything's looking good over here. Let's kind of see what this guy's doing. Looks like he's in the same same place. My ships would be delighted to supply you with goods from my homeland. he hasn't settled a new island yet or anything. Hmm. Okay. Thanks to you, we can finally enjoy a Sunday roast again. Let's see here. I want to upgrade these here in the corner. Just for kind of aesthetic purposes, since we want to kind of grow the city out in the middle. So we'll wait a second for these guys and upgrade them. up so now once everyone's moved in we should be good a player has opened up new land oh wow he got this big territory I'm booking it man Hmm. 
we'll really get going eventually. It's a little, little bit of a grind early on. Let's see. Here. These guys are maxed. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. My math was off somehow. That's f whatever. Oh, yeah, I was off. I know why. Okay. Ooh. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Let's see here. But, getting there. get these six over here right there and let them upgrade build two more houses like that a good deal got some more tools another player has built an oriental settlement look at him go Food is maxed. Okay, everything looks good. Let's keep upgrading. Some houses. One more. One more. You have earned a new accolade. Now, once everyone's moved in, we'll be able to produce the iron. Or mine iron ore, smelt it into iron, and then create tools with that. And we're good. Once we have that, we can really start, like, moving. So, um, I think that's where I'm going to call it for now. So we're going to end it right here. And next time we'll get our tool production up and hopefully we'll be looking to make our second settlement, which will be our main resource extraction location for your basic materials like wood, tools, uh, charcoal, th bricks, things like that. And it will also double storage and we'll even try to get our first orient settlement going so we can start getting spices and we can make our citizens happy but until then guys thanks for watching matt gone gaming this is our first episode of dawn of discovery and we'll be back with episode two probably here shortly maybe later this week is kind of the plan i think the rome Total War is still going to be going to be the primary focus for now, since we're four episodes in, and this is just kind of something to do on the side. But thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, if you want more content like this, smash that like button <laughs> and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what I can do better, and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications when I actually. This city is slowly becoming at hit least. Hit the little bell so you get little notifications for when I upload a new video. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.